Quick shout out to my energy drink sponsor G Fuel for keeping me energized and alive through the release of the new game. For the next couple days only, if you use code HEYDON at checkout, you'll get 30% off your entire order. This stuff is honestly amazing. And if you drink the snow cone flavor, rumor has it, you have increased odds to find shiny Pokemon. I don't make the rules. What is happening guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. I have got my sour grape flavor G Fuel shaken up as we speak. We are fueled and ready to go with that code Hey Done for 30% off. Anyway, we're supposed to head out to go do our rival battle, um, but I kind of want to explore around the old house. Maybe there's something cool in here. Hold up. There's a Tootle. He's going to skewy at us one time. And, uh, ooh. Actually, a pretty legit little house layout. Got a nice little plant room. It's a plant with a gentle fragrance. Pokemon probably like it, too. What are you doing, buddy? It's a plant. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Hello? Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Very insightful, as he says, gazing out of his super cool window room. All right. Uh, so we're going to head right on out. Our team is looking healed up and ready to go. So let's see what type of shenanigans we can get ourselves into here. Nice little garden they got over here, too. Hold up. Very environmentally friendly place. Seems like there would be a hidden item over here. Oh, there is. Hey! We got ourselves a great ball, so that's actually our first great ball. High performance balls, boys. You already know my balls be high performance. All right. Uh, let's see how we head right on out. Hop tells us to hurry up. You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Hold your damn horses, Hop. Gotta learn how to keep it slow, buddy. All right. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Uh, I'm gonna say I need to prepare because that's actually kind of nice. I don't know. We probably should switch up the lead here. We got Dexter in front who is level 10 uh, and pretty damn useful. I kind of want to use Tootsie as well. This bird boy looking pretty damn nice. Uh, other than that, we have Swiper level 8. Let's actually lead off a of Swiper. Uh, we are gonna say you in front. I'm not sure what Hop is gonna lead with. He probably just still has his Wulu and his Score Bunny, but I guess we'll see. Let's get it. So our second battle with Hop. How many times we're gonna have to teach this guy this damn lesson? I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. Show me some, show me something good in this battle. All right, we're about to show off. We're trying to get sponsored out here for the by the damn champion. It's kind of no fair because you know, he is kind of Hop's brother, but it, it's fine. All right. So, our Golden Eye friend does actually have three Pokemon. Leads off with his Wooloo. And that is fine. These things, I've heard, are pretty damn defensive. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Alright, let's get it. So, level six still, which is actually good for us. This boy has not been doing a whole lot. We're gonna actually, we're gonna hit him with a Hone Claws. We're gonna get Swiper. Do a little bit of swiping with the old Claws that is gonna boost our attack and our accuracy. As Wooloo is going to do tackle. Wooloo's tackle animation might just be the best tackle animation ever. Now we're going to go for a beat up after the attack boost. It's also going to hit six times. Should do a decent amount of damage. Yes. Love to see it, Fox Boy. Foxy Grandpa. Doing some damage. Going to be a nice solid two hit KO here. We're going to need to beat him up one more time. Almost was able to do it with just one. But not quite. Now this thing's going to growl, so. Now you just get rid of my Hone Claws, huh? I sharpened my claws, and then they got dull again because this thing growled at me. How about a, a sheep growl at you? I, interesting. All right, so one more beat up. That one did a lot of damage. And you got a dead Wooloo. All right. So we're going to get some solid experience for that. The team's looking nice. Swiper goes to level 9. Shelton grows to level 7. Learns Bite, which is actually pretty great because we get that boost. Uh, next is the score bunny. We are actually just gonna switch. We're gonna go right for the old type advantage Let Dexter see his little friend here We had to save the Sobble. Now, how could you see Sobble in the beginning all freaking anxious? We had to give him a nice loving home All right, so level 8 score bunny Not too bad hop not too bad We're just gonna go right for the old water gun and honestly I think this game is amazing a lot of people have been pretty negative about it, but to me, I don't see how you could be really that negative about it. If you've liked, if you've enjoyed any games uh, after like X and Y, from Generation Six and on, you definitely would find something you can like about this game for sure. Uh, it's gonna hit us with an Ember. We resist that, and a Water Gun is gonna do it. 
So down goes your bunny. He does still have one Pokemon left, I believe. I actually really do like freaking Score Bunny, though, man. I've mentioned it before, but it should be called Score Rabbit. You can use the R to like, come on. Pokemon needs to hire me for this shit, man. I'm trying to learn Scratch, which we're just gonna keep old moves with Meowth because we already have Slash, which is like a way better, way better Scratch. So we're fine on that. Snowball goes to level eight, learns Copycat, and uh, next is a Rookidy. Um, so should we try to use our Wooloo? I don't feel like we're gonna be able to do very much. Let's go back into Swiper. Uh, Dexter being level 11, we do gotta spread the level a little bit. I'm kind of leaning towards getting Swiper some more levels. I think the most interesting part about this whole situation is that I have no idea when any of these Pokemon are gonna evolve. Which makes it really fun, so alright. In comes this thing, it's only level 5. Man, Hop, what have you been doing this whole time, buddy? That's why, because you rush so much, man. You've been running up a storm. You could have battled like three trainers and been much better, but now you got a level five, man. The beat up does not a whole lot for a level five, but after the sixth hit, it's going to be an easy two hit KO. Like, I'm assuming Rookadee probably evolves around level 16. Um, but I just, it's, it's going to be so exciting because I've never seen. Really, the evolutions. I have seen some of the leaks, but I don't really remember what they were. A lot of them were low res and stuff, so I'm excited to see what these things are going to freaking evolve into. We're just going to finish you off with a beat up. Swiper V looking smug, just absolutely destroying birds, as foxes do. So down he goes. And we got ourselves <clears throat> our second win in the rival battle. Love to see it. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing, nothing less from my rival. Gets us $640. We're trying to stack as much paper as we can because as soon as we hit another store where we can buy clothes, I'm going to have to be the freshest trainer in the damn world. Alright, so you're going to sponsor us or what? You're only going to sponsor me, right? Because I won. Hayden Hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got a little choice but to give you both an endorsement. What the hell? Every kid gets a damn trophy these days, huh? <laughs> we get a letter of endorsement. Uh, so that's interesting. Letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. So now apparently we can handle, uh, we can head, head to the old gym, so that should be fun. You may both be young still. Yep, Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Sometimes I accidentally hit the left trigger, just as a habit, and it actually works as uh, just smashing A. Things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling battles out of you two, Hayden. No, don't worry, buddy. As long as I got this damn trunk on my back, I'll be doing it. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Absolutely, buddy. As he actually hits us with a how animation there. That's actually funny. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Oh, shit. Shooting star. Make a wish, buddy. Whoa. What do we have here? Going to pick it up. Look at his empty hand, Hayden. Would you look at this? The wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. How perfect that there, man there happened to be two of them. <laughs> uh, so we got ourselves a wishing star. A stone found in the Gala region with mysterious power. It said that your dreams come true if you find one. What? With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes. Ooh, we can Dynamax now, too. We can, we can hit up the gym challenges. We can Dynamax. It's going to be lit. They say wishing stars fall down. To those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. Okay, you, calm, calm down there, buddy. There, I've said it three times, so certainly my wish will come true. <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. Those wishing stars are composed of curious sort of rock containing unknown power. One of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. They won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Well, whoa, hold up, Magnolia. Come up in here and swoop my freaking star. Done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you? Then please, give Hayden me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got a battle against the mad Pokemon of the slumbering we weld, and now this. Really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. Sure does. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Well. Seems I came back at the right time for all the excitements. Sonia is back. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Curries? Man, they're really into, like, dinner in this game. I have seen that you can actually, like, have dinner with your Pokemon. 
at some point, and I think it's in the wild area where you can do like camping. I'm excited to see what the hell that's all about. We shall see soon. It's morning at last. And time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning, you two. Or good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about? Er, well, there was a weird heavy fog, and this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Hayden tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. Yeah, we definitely got a little blacked out. So that was... That was weird. All right, a right fount of information you are. What? You call me a fountain of information, but you call me a fount? I swear to God, I'm learning... <laughs> I'm learning all sorts of new lingo. Interesting. We get ourselves a swaggy bracelet. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. Let's add a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when you went at a power spot. So we can only Dynamax when at a power spot, which I assume means we can only do it when we're at like gym, like gym battles and shit. This is your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Nice. So she didn't just steal our freaking wishing stars. It's like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? He sure doesn't. Number of conditions you must meet in if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on the gigantic form. Don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. Meet all sorts of Pokemon that will help you fill your Pokedex too. Uh, the legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Hayden, I'll beat you to the station. So finally, we get out of the damn dialogue, and we are ready to continue. He's gonna beat us to the station because he's always in a damn rush, but it's fine. One last thing before we race, Hayden. See, got some great advice for you. What advice would you have for me, sir? You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, like crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay any notice. <laughs> Interesting, so I was wondering about that. Also, I did receive information. I know, I know last episode I mentioned um, about finding shiny Pokemon. If their overworld sprite would be shiny, I don't believe it is, which is unfortunate. But If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. You need a fail-proof trick, press the left stick. Try it out, let's see who we can catch the most Pokemon. Alright, cool. Whale. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be a goal, so see you there. Alright, so we're heading back, apparently. Not moving any more forward. But, ooh, we can just whistle to him. So pressing in the left stick allows us to whistle, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so... There's no way for us to go any farther here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta see. I thought I saw some screenshots of people fishing here. Fishing, yes. If you see shadows in the water, you're likely to find a Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line and try to fish up a catch. If your fishing rod shakes, press the A button once more to reel in a Pokemon. Try fishing wherever you spot these shadows. Nice, so we can actually fish here, and I forgot that we started off with a fishing rod, so we are starting with it. We're gonna mash A, and we do actually find ourselves <laughs> a Magikarp. So, uh, that's cool, I guess. I don't really know what I expected with uh, the old, old rod, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and beat this thing up, just because we can. And I guess we'll try fishing a couple more times, just to see what else we'll find. And damn, beat up just really does not do much damage, especially when it's a level 6 Magikarp. Like, my god. I mean, we get a crit with that one, but still. Barely, oh, another crit. Takes us two crits to be able to do half to this <laughs> damn Magikarp. And it's just going to splash. I don't even know if this thing is worth my time, but we're going to definitely have to beat it up one more time. Don't mind me, just beating up fish. It's uh, my favorite pastime, actually. Poor little Magikarp, man. I always have loved Magikarp for some reason. I have a life-size shiny Magikarp plush, and it's just about my favorite thing ever. We don't get any crits that time, so it's able to live it. And uh, you see how it slows down when it's in the red, uh, which is interesting. This boy be flopping nice and slow for us. We're gonna go for another beat up. I'm really interested to see what this fox evolves into, or if it even evolves at all, which I'm gonna assume it does. Most of these early route Pokemon will probably evolve relatively quickly, and. Uh, I'm expecting this thing to probably have like two evolutions, but who knows? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and switch up the lead here. We're gonna put freaking Tootsie in front. Already being level nine, we've never even used this thing. The EXP share is really, really doing it for us. Hold up, that fish just came swimming right for me. What, what the hell is, what is that thing? I want, I wanna catch this thing, hello? Bite it. What's going on here? Did he bite it? I think he might have. 
Nope, just another Magikarp? Well, I'm being trolled. Hello? I'm pretty sure they probably mentioned something about that. Hold up. Does he got that unnerve? No eating berries. Not on my watch. Yeah, damn, carp. How do I how do I get this thing? Can you only encounter these from surfing? I'm so confused. So it looks like one of those Barracuda things. I did actually remember seeing this. That Pokemon. We're gonna try to fish one more time. It'll probably just be a magic carp. Yep. Just a heckin' carp. Magikarp would be actually a pretty good mon to invest in early on, just because you can get a Gyarados relatively quickly. By like the second gym, you can have yourself a nice little nice little Gyarados. You can get it to level 20. Uh, but we're not going to mess around with that too much, and we're going to kind of just continue here. Um, I really wish I could just like encounter that fish though, damn it. But it's fine, we're burning daylight, and Hop has definitely <laughs> beaten us to the station now. There's uh, no question about that, that boy be quick. Oh, there's a- hold up! Galarian Zigzagoon, boys. <laughs> yes, I was wondering when we were going to find one of these things. Amazing. All right. So we absolutely have to catch this. Galarian Zigzagoon is badass. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to peck you once, see how much that does. I really do like this thing's evolution. The Obstagoon is amazing. And after just one peck, we'll probably be able to catch it here. Let's get ourselves a Zigzagoon, boys. I'll probably switch it with the Meowth we have on our team. Because like I mentioned before, I'm going to try to use as many new Pokemon as possible. Unless we come across something that's like, we have to use. But Meowth is not one of the, those Pokemon. Also, we've caught everything we've ever tried with just one Pokeball. Which, maybe we're just lucky. Alright, Rotom Dex, what do you got for me? It's Relentless. It's, oh, <laughs> restlessness. As it constantly running around, if it sees another Pokemon, it will purposefully run into them in order to start a fight. Well, we're going to go ahead and name this thing Gene. And the reason for that is because Gene Simmons from KISS. And that is essentially what this thing is. It's like a KISS Pokemon, the, the band. So <laughs> we can actually just add this to our party direct, directly from here. Look at that quality of life change, boys. you love to see it. We're going to add... Um, Add it instead of the Meowth, who could uh, get large, but we're gonna... Meowth has a Super Repel. Ooh. Nice. Well, we'll snag that Super Repel. And we got ourselves a Galarian Zigzagoon. So let's take a look at this thing. See if... Uh, what it's got for abilities. I think it was already revealed to us. Pick up. Yup. So, uh, this thing is interesting because it's dark and normal type. The bad news about that is that it's extremely weak to fighting. But it is overall a pretty cool type, so. Very interesting. Hold up. Hold up, Yamper. What are you doing right here? There is just an overwhelming amount of stuff to do. My god. Yamper is absolutely the goodest boy. Look at him over there. He was just standing there, just waiting to be caught. Why did, not, why did none of this show up the first time we ran past this route? I'm intrigued. It's level 8, which is actually pretty damn great, too. It has Nuzzle. Uh-oh. I forgot that this thing is... Is this thing freaking electric type? It has to be. But I forgot about that. I thought it was just a normal. Well, damn. That could actually be pretty great to add to the team. We're going to switch into Swiper Cy here. We know that we basically don't do any damage with freaking beat up. So we can hit it at least once with a beat up. We have been nuzzled. Honestly, I would, <laughs> I would let Yamper nuzzle me any damn day. Of course, we get paralyzed again, which is annoying. But we're going to try to get a beat up here. Come on, Yamper. Twerking at me. And we get fully par paralyzed. Yamper was one of the other Pokemon that, uh, when revealed to us officially by the Pokemon company, I was fired up. We have a freaking Corgi Pokemon, so we do get a beat up. That literally does 2 HP damage. We call that a why bother. I should just be hucking a Great Ball at this thing, because we know that we catch everything the first damn try anyway. And this thing is OP. Jesus. We ran into the most overpowered Yamper in the damn game. We're going to huck our one Great Ball and hope that that works. Really should have weakened it more, but I'm impatient, so we're just going to hope that this clicks. Come on. And it does, of course. <laughs> you can always catch, no matter what. First try. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear my roommates. They are in the background uh, yelling, so... <laughs> if you're wondering what that sound is... Uh, 
this nobody locked up in my basement trying to escape. It's my roommates out there playing games, but it's fine. All right, we got ourselves a Yamper. It is just pure electric type. Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. So, uh, we are going to give you a nickname. What should I name my Yamper? I honestly have no clue. Hmm. All right, boys, I have decided to name this thing Cornelius. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you probably recognize that name. It just seems fitting. We, we love our we love our Corneliuses around here. We're going to add it to our party, uh, but now it's beginning to be difficult deciding what I want to switch. Uh, we'll probably get rid of Shelton. Honestly, this thing's face just kind of annoys me, so we're getting rid of Shelton. For now, maybe we'll end up using Dreadnought later, uh, but Yamper, Yamper is too damn cool. So, heading on back. Also, what, what is that? Why? Ycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You're welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles, and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When stamps arrive in Ycom while you're out on your adventure, it means that other trainers are around looking for someone to connect with. Press the Y button to see who's around. Normally, you can use Ycom to connect to people close by, but if you press the plus button and connect to the internet, you'll be able to connect with people around the world. Select a stamp that shows the silhouette of a Pokemon on it, and you'll be able to team up with your fellow trainers to battle Pokemon. Interesting. That is rather cool. I don't know if there's any way to get rid of that. If that just stays. Whoa, buddy, what are you doing all the way out of the grass? Little chew tool. Chew tool. I'm going to need you to crawl back into your hole, buddy. Alright, so. We are essentially back. Out here in Wedgehurst. Oh, there's a hidden item right here, I think. Yep. That's what that is. We're probably going to see a lot of those little sparkly boys around which is interesting um, was I just supposed to go all the way back yep come on Hayden you'll never beat me to the station at that pace yeah sorry buddy I, I caught a freaking dog I caught a zigzagoo and I was fishing we've had ourselves quite the afternoon hop uh, so we're gonna head right into the old station and see what that's all about what is good so, out with it, Hayden. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one, but look at how many I caught. You're well on your way to building a fine team. Obtained TM40 for Swift, uh, which is kind of cool, I guess. It is just a normal type move that can never miss, which is kind of great. The technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach a Pokemon a move in a flash. And you can use it again and again, too. I want to teach a move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. Nice. The gym challenge will begin in Moto Stoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. So it seems we're heading to Moto Stoke. And so I'm excited to see what this new city's gonna be all about. Not quite so fast. Oh, Hop's mom's here. Oh, geez. How embarrassing. Oh, no, both of our moms. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Score Bunny as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, last little gift to see how you well set on your way and the kit you'll need for camping hey we about to go camping nothing like just giving your 10 year old sons just some camping gear and just throwing them out into the wild everything you need to set it set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot which i'm gonna assume we could heal up at i don't know no matter what happens out there if you and your partner are together i know you'll be fine thanks mom and just think how lucky you are mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers because i'm certain to be the champion next you'll see of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. I'm going to say we'll be fine. Because we're adults now. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. Loads of brilliant, brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, Hayden. Come on, we're off. Alright, boys, we are off. I probably should have healed before we headed out. Um, but it's fine. I'm assuming... Nothing too crazy is going to go down, so... Tapping your feet, check us out. Just scrolling through Instagram on our way there. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Ooh, we got the Pangoro and Pancham. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever, do, ever get tired of it. Me either, Hop. This sounds, sounds pretty sweet, man. So, after a quick train ride, it seems we have arrived. What's happening, guy? Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yep, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train's train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Damn it, Wooloo. Always 
Being a nuisance. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is, buddy? This wild area is massive. There's loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Hayden? It's the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Nice. So we're about to we're about to renovate the team even further. We haven't had any opportunity. Hold up. There's a Swinub. Hey, buddy. I haven't had much of an opportunity to really grind anything else up, but we're just getting so many so many new things. Use a Poke Doll. Uh, so she is going to give us five Poke Dolls, which is kind of cool. Is this like an ATM right here? Do I write? What's going on here? Which station do you want to go to? Oh, so we can switch it up there. Very cool. What are you people doing over here? Hey, you ha have you and, e and Eevee had a... What? What are you talking about? Talking about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You had a Let's Go experience with Pikachu, didn't you? I hope you have another Let's Go experience with this Pikachu, too. And this lady just straight up gives us a Pikachu. Uh, that is because I guess on my Switch I had Let's Go Pikachu. And, uh, interesting. Um, we're not going to give a nickname to this Pikachu. We're not going to... We're not going to use it, but that'll be cool to, I guess, eventually uh, Dynamax, as she mentioned. So, very cool. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. But in what world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? I sure do, buddy. I sure do. All right. Uh, as we walk out, it actually shows us the map here, um, which is interesting. I do, as I mentioned before, like the art style, art style of that. And Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived at the wild area. This is probably the... The coolest feature of the new game so far that I've seen. Um, just kind of a wide open area and I'm excited to explore it. But I want to talk to you first. Hold up. Hi there. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I sure would. You know, what a nice person. You would think we're in Canada. Alright. Uh, so let's check out the team here. We're going to actually probably just continue to lead off with Tootsie. I do want to get this thing some levels. Because I know it's going to evolve soon and it's going to probably turn into something cool. So we'll see. Look at that. It is going down at the wild area, huh? That's Motostoke way off that way. Really? What are like the beams? Is that where the raid things are? And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia, she's just freaking following us. She got hearts all over her hair. Have those always been there? Did I just notice that? My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. These two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your, your life? Sounds rough. What the hell? Never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about the Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it. So the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes. Being it has always got its own challenges, huh? Said you needn't worry about it. This, this bitch just said needn't. That's how you... That's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Glad to be on the road. Really? It's been ages. It'd be great. Fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Is she coming with us? Hold up. Off to go stick my head in as many of these red glowing dens as I could find. Oh. Was that sexual? Hop, hold on. Gonna battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill out another page in the tale of my legend. Interesting. Well. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better you better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too, if you want to take the opponent that strong. Alright. Can I please be on my way? You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how I send, how about I send you off with a little treat for me? She gives us a Pokemon box link. What is that? Device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. Nice. So I did know that uh, we can actually access the box from anywhere, which is great. Basically, we've got Wi-Fi boxes these days, boys. It's, 20, it's almost 2020. What a time to be alive. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. Wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. It is the start of the real adventure, finally. Looks like we gotta have a berry tree there. Not seeing any wild Pokemon, but they'll be there. So... There is no designated path we can essentially- Oh my Jesus, an onyx just came out of nowhere. Also, you found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around the wild area are strong. If you try battling one, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Run like the wind. Also, we're going to grab a jar of honey. Interesting. So, uh... Hey, onyx. This boy just going to come charging at me. We're going to actually battle this thing. I want to see what level it is. I've heard that the wild area has a lot of high-leveled stuff. 
So Tootsie's just about the last thing we want out against this thing. Too nervous to eat. Holy shit, it's level 26. We are running from that thing. What? How are they gonna hit us with level 26 Onyx? That is re-damn ridiculous. Also, we found another note. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even use the PP they need to use their moves over and over. Need to use their move, okay. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will, part, will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. So yeah, you can heal your Pokemon while camping, which is really interesting. We are going to shake the old berry tree. Orin berry fell from the tree. One berry on the ground. Shake it more. I bet you a wild Pokemon's going to come out of this damn thing. There's berries all over the place. We're going to keep on shaking it. Oh, yep, we've been attacked. Okay, I got a little greedy, and a little Cherubi pops out. This is actually super cool. I like the wild area a lot. This is awesome. All right, so this Cherubi probably won't be too high at level, right? Level 8. Perfect. We can give you a little Pekaroo. Which is perfect. Not quite a one-hit KO. I, I really wonder how they chose which Pokemon to remove from this game's Pokedex. They're like, you know what needs to be in here is Cherubi. People fucking love Cherubi. <laughs> but, uh... Gene is gonna learn a lick, which is cool. Thank you for that, little Cherubi. Alright. Ah, oh, the other Pokemon nearby took all the orange berries away. What the hell? We picked up all the other berries. We got three Petchas. Interesting. Well, ooh, we can actually, uh, we can change the camera now, which I assumed we could do in the wild area, uh, which is really cool. I want to see if any other cool stuff pop up. We got a freaking, what is that thing? Hold up. That's oh, a bunnery, or bun uh, bunnelby. There is wingles all over the place. We're going to run into this wingle and just kind of check out what the levels are, because I don't know what to expect from this place, man. That onyx was about to destroy my whole life. And then these wingles are probably just normal leveled. It's going to be level 9. Interesting. Uh, so we're not going to add a Wingle to the team. Ain't nobody got time for that. Holy sh- Oh my god, hello? <laughs> what the fuck? This Tyrogue just came at me. What in the- <laughs> Wow. Okay, now he's like, he's not interested anymore. But that dude was just straight sprinting at me. My god, and there's a- <laughs> There's a Diggersby just walking around too. Guys, this is overwhelming. Found a note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Cool. So I like how they do give you a lot of little tips. Uh, the wingles are just hanging out. What is what is this over here? What do we have here? Pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own or get up to three players to help you out. We're probably not going to mess with that for a while. I don't know what the hell we just gained. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode here. Uh, we have got a lot of exploring to do in the old wild area. And I am extremely excited. This game is amazing so far. Look, we're enjoying the rain. So much to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.